Hi everyone, it's Stuart Van Cleve. I'm the Web and Digital Services Librarian at Winona State University. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Word plugin for Zotero. We're going to start by going down to the dock of this Mac, and we're going to open up a Microsoft Word document. You can also open up Microsoft Word from your list of programs in a PC, if you have a PC. Once we're here, we're going to, uh, I've opened up this document and I have just a sample example sentence. And I've already selected add-ins, which is where all of the Zotero plugins live. So typically you start out with home. All you have to do to get to the Zotero add-ins is click over on add-ins. And here you have these seven tools that are available to you, these seven buttons. And we're gonna go through each one to kind of show you what they do. So the first one is going to be the insert citation tool. We click on that insert citations tool and it opens up the Z for Zotero search bar. And so what you can do is search all of the existing citations that you've done in Zotero under your account and you can search through them and create a citation for that just by typing in the first. So if, say for example, it's the first part of the title, it's in the author's last name, you can do all that stuff. So I'm gonna type in digital. I saved a lot of stuff about digital humanities. So I'm gonna click on the emergence of digital humanities right here. I click on that and then um, it adds that into this citation that it is creating. So if I just hit the enter or return key, it will enter in Jones 2014. Let's do a second sentence here just as an example. And um, at the end of the second sentence, we're going to insert a, another citation. And this time we're gonna do more than one author is gonna be responsible for the content of this second example sentence. So I'm just gonna start typing in this one right here and we'll do this one here. So we have two in this example, two different citations. I hit enter and it will actually combine the two together and it will do that as part of the citation. This is a preferred way to do that, to actually insert um, a, an in-text citation with uh, two or more authors. So that's gonna be important for our next tool, which is to edit a citation. So I've just clicked on that. It's highlighted this entire in-text citation. I click on this edit citation, um, but it's going to take us to the citation generator tool that we had, and we can add additional stuff to it. We can subtract stuff to it. So say, for example, if I say, I'm gonna take that out, and then I'm going to add um, a, let's add two other um, example. So I'm just kind of randomly doing this. So I'm adding three sources this time. And we'll see that these got added in and it generates that citation based off of the rules that you've told it. Um, so you, that's how you edit an existing citation. Now let's say I get to the end of my document and I have all of these in-text citations that I've done that are based off of the citations that I've collected in Zotero and I want to create the bibliography from that. That's going to be tool number three and that is the insert bibliography. We click on that just once and it will actually just pop in the uh, full bibliographic citation, the references list based off of these items that I had supplied up here. So you can see Jones and Jones, Anton, Anton, Curry and Curry, and uh, Seglemann and Seglemann. So it actually does that right off the bat. It does change all of that. And now that I've told it to do that, and that I have this bibliography created, I can even add a third sentence and add a new citation to that third sentence by clicking here. And I'll add a new sentence and it will, I'll add that in and then it actually does add that in. So you keep on adding onto it, it will keep modifying that bibliography for you. This fourth button is going to be uh, refreshing Zotero. So say for example, if I've gone into um, Firefox and I've opened up Zotero and I've added a bunch of new stuff into my list here. And then I go back to Microsoft Word. This just tells it to refresh everything that's going on. By clicking on this gear, we can change the citation style. So say for example, if we want actually American Psychological Association, we have some other choices here as well. We say, okay. It's typically a good idea to know which citation style you're gonna be working with at the start of the document because that will otherwise, changing it halfway through does kind of confuse Zotero a little bit. The last button is to break a link. Say for example, if we want to break this in-text citation from its bibliographic corresponding record, we can click on that break the link button right here and it says, are you sure you wanna do that? Because once you do that, it's just gonna become text and it will no longer be under the control of Zotero. And we say okay to that. Sometimes it wants to pop up the web. So you just click back on the word. And now this is just text. To learn more about Kruger Library, be sure to like us on Facebook 
follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can click on Ask Us and be directed to our frequently asked questions and contact information.